hope you're well. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different and by a little bit different I mean I've never done it before. I don't do style videos, I don't do like clothing try on things but judging by the title you know that that's what's happening today and it's because you guys have asked for it and also partially because I'm trying to be a little bit more bold for 2017. You would have seen my 20, well I hope you've seen my 2017 goals video. If you haven't I'll link it up over here and you can go and watch it but basically I want to be a little bit more bold this year and I've never really been one to do fashion-y stuff because I'm not like fashionable. Like I don't really go out and get the most amazing things. I don't regularly shop at Zara. I don't like, I'm not following like trends. I'm just a jeans and t-shirt girl and recently I've just been okay with it. I'm like, I'm wearing jeans and a t-shirt, I dress it up a little bit more. I feel like I'm coming into my style a little bit more now and a lot of you have actually asked for style videos and to see like what I wear on a regular basis. So I thought now is as good a time as any if you guys are willing to watch it, if you're keen to watch it then why not do it? So here we go. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the staple items that I have in my wardrobe. Don't like tight clothing. Um, I am I'm not self-conscious about my body. I'm running regularly, kind of regularly, um, and I'm trying to eat better, but it's not exactly where I want it to be, but I mean, is anyone's body ever where they want it to be? So I don't ever wear like really tight clothing just because I feel uncomfortable. I wear just, this just is like a, like a precursor to what's coming. I haven't even brought out any of the clothing yet. Um, I wear like fake bras, so like those like bralette kind of things, just because I don't like that underwire that like digs into me and I'm not about that like push up life. Um, if you are, totally chilled but this is just what I like to wear. So I'm going to get into it before I ramble anymore. First things first, t-shirts. I have a giant pile in front of me. Okay, so this is not a regular t-shirt. I am a youth leader. I go to church. <laughs> precursor as well. This is kind of like our youth t-shirt. I just think it's really really cool. It's got this simple um, vivid youth logo over here and then it has a big vivid youth logo on the back and it just goes really well with like jeans and a t-shirt. I mean this is the t-shirt but it just goes really well with like my ripped jeans from Zara or from H&M or even my pick and pay leggings that you guys will see in a little bit but it's like majorly oversized. I just I really like it. It's nice for um, even if I wear this bomber jacket which I'll talk about in a bit as well. Um, and then obviously a staple is a black t-shirt. A lot of this stuff um, I have is very simple. Like there are no prints. I mean I'm getting into wearing a prints now but not really. Um, not, not too much. So this is a plain black kind of very soft material t-shirt from um, H&M. Although this is not my favorite one. I actually have another one from Country Road which is wonderful. I wear it with black jeans and this bomber jacket if I do like an all black outfit. And then my leopard print Superga's. Those look, I love that outfit. Those look amazing with like all black. Or I do black t-shirt, black jeans and my denim jacket with my New Balance sneakers or something like that. This is an H&M linen like dusty pink t-shirt. I'm not really like a dusty pink person. Like you won't find a lot of that kind of stuff in my cupboard. But I just really like this shade. Like my sister's also super into it. It's kind of like a dirty pink. It's not a dusty pink. It's, it's a dirty pink. Um, and it's kind of see-through but not unlike that I'm going to show it off and wear like a red bra with it kind of way. Just like a very chilled Saturday t-shirt kind of vibe. I like this with um, jeans and a t-shirt again or even I have this beautiful like white skirt with pockets. It kind of, it's a midi skirt. I really like wearing this with it. Um, it's kind of a more girly option for summer and then I also wear those with my espadrilles which are beautiful. I love them. I'm not even kidding. This is also a very thin t-shirt. It's a v-neck other than was the other one a v-neck? What is this? No, this is a round one. This is a v-neck one. And again, I wear this with jeans or I'll wear this with um, my black, black dress. I got a black dress recently from Factory, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, so I'll style those together with the little t-shirt underneath and then the little black dress over it. It's kind of like a little slip dress, but it's very loose and flowy and I don't feel uncomfortable or restricted in it at all. And I kind of really like that style. It reminds me of like when you're a little kid, like and you just wore, you, your mom was like, oh, cool, you can wear that strappy dress, but you have to wear a t-shirt underneath it. So I really like the style in general, and I like to wear it with my New Balance to make it even more like a little kid. And I'll wear it with a cap sometimes, like a pea cap, the one that I have from Cotton On that's kind of distressed. Or I will wear it with my hair like this when I feel like I want to be like a proper little like eight-year-old. 
You can come in, Sean. Sean? I can hear you hovering. <laughs> hey. Doing a, a clothing haul. That's why all the clothing's on the bed. You can just move some of it out the way. This is a t-shirt from H&M. It just says, uh, let's see. If you never try, you'll never know. Which is true, but not, not with like drugs and drinking and driving and all that kind of stuff, but you know what I mean. So I really like this t-shirt. Again, it's like really chilled and loose and it just looks really nice with like black jeans, my Supergas or my, what other sneakers do I have? Or even my um, Adidas or Adidas, I don't know how to say it actually. Um, and then this is a white t-shirt that I got recently from Cotton On. And it's just a plain white t-shirt, very, very casual. And I wear this with the black dress from Factory that you'll see in a little bit. Um, it's just basic, I basically just bought it as a top to go underneath a dress because I like that style. And I like the way it fits because I can wear it with jeans as well. So basically I wear white, black and stripes. That's, that's the basic for me. And then these are a pair of pants, moving on to pants, I got at the end of last year maybe, and they are amazing. I wear them all the time. If I feel like I just wanna be comfortable but I still wanna look good, I wear these pants and they are these kind of like chinos, but they've got this cuff at the bottom, which makes them a little bit less formal because I am way too short. I have to roll them a little bit so they don't look like a game, so I don't look like a man from behind. And they're just really, really simple. They have fake pockets on the back and then normal pockets in the front and they just sit really nicely. You'll see them in the video. They just sit on my waist really well. I can wear them a little bit more um, up, I don't, like up, I don't know, above, like not on my waist, but just like above my hips. Um, and I really, really like that with t-shirts tucked into it with like a loose white shirt maybe. This is a staple that I think everyone should just have. Um, these are black skinny jeans. I They're not even really jeans, they're like those stretchy things. Um, and I just really, really like these. Obviously, I have to roll them because I'm way too short. How short am I? Like 1.57? Somewhere around there. Short. short. So every single pair of pants that I have has to be rolled up at the bottom. But thankfully, that is a great style at the moment. So it doesn't even look weird. They work well. I have two pairs of these. I cut one with uh, rips at the knees. And then I leave this one without rips at the knees so that I can do it a little bit more formal if I want to. Okay, so moving on to jeans. I have these two pairs of jeans that I just rotate. Um, and they just work. I've got lots of compliments on both of them and they just kind of work for my body type, I guess. These are a pair of jeans from Zara and they have kind of rips everywhere. They've got rips kind of like on the thigh area. They've got another, I've got another big one. It just happened over time. It's one of those. Um, another big one on the knee and then a smaller one on the other knee and they just work like they're skinny jeans but they're kind of stretchy as well so they're comfy to wear but they still have a good kind of form to them they don't lose their form throughout the day and start looking like really baggy like painter pants um if you know what i mean like an out of work painter i don't know um so i really really like these i like these with like things like tops tucked into them. I like it with kind of loose t-shirts as well because they are a little bit more skinny than the next pair that I'm gonna talk about. And I get loads and loads of compliments on them. They just look really good on my body. I just am um, absolutely in love with these jeans. These are actually like probably my favorite jeans at the moment. They're the only ones that I will, if I feel a little bit like self-conscious, like on those days where you're just like having a fat day, you wear these jeans and I just feel amazing. And then this is a more recent pair of jeans and they're a little bit outside of what I would usually choose to wear. Just because when you think high-waisted jeans, I think like really like model skinny kind of person wearing high-waisted jeans because it just looks really good and Anyway, so um, these were kind of an out there purchase for me, but I've started to really, really like them. And these are from H&M. It's part of their Conscious Denim range, and they're actually like a boyfriend fit, and I really, really like it. I think the reason they mean boyfriend fit is it kind of, for me, it's still kind of tight, like at the top and on the bum area, and then it's it's got a straight leg fit. So I just roll them once or twice, and it looks really chilled with, even if I wear heels with this, or I wear... Um, sneakers, any sneakers that I have, or my espadrilles, or my Havianas, even with a t-shirt. It looks really, really good. I just, I like the style of these, je these jeans. It's a lighter wash than um, the Zara ones. And you can see that they are high-waisted, and they have this kind of like button-up bit in the front here, which I think works with the style. And it does kind of like cinch everything in, in a good way. It is a little bit uncomfortable sometimes, 
um, like sitting a little bit uncomfortable but these definitely do loosen throughout the day so they do kind of get more of that boyfriend fit like where it's a little bit loose I'm also just like really enjoying doing something that's a little bit more fashionable because for a while I just kind of wore clothing for the sake of I don't know like there was no there was no like style put into it it was just kind of like oh cool I'm just gonna wear jeans and t-shirt or a dress or something that doesn't make me look like a hair for lump so I'm just really enjoying these jeans at the moment and I think they look good let me know in the comments what you think of them moving on to dresses I do lots of dresses in the summer just because it's a lot easier than anything else you can just throw it on with like Havianas and you're done um so this is one that I actually got from my sister and I just am obsessed with it you'll see it in all my pictures I'm always wearing it um, this is just a little dress from, where is this from, Coppelia, Coppelia, I don't know, but you can get them at Mango and Jemima, it's just a very simple pretty little like flower dress with um, these kind of little string straps, very very simple, just really nice for summer evenings or even during the day, it's a nice like day to night kind of dress because you could put on heels as well if you wanted and then if I get cold I just wear this bomber jacket with it and it just really works and then another dress that I always get compliments on and that I love this was a purchase that I was like, mmm, could be good, but maybe it could also be a little bit of a an interesting purchase. It may not look good, I may not like it in a week, but it's, I absolutely love it. Like, it's now, like, one of my staple items, obviously, because it's in this video, and it is this cute kind of, like, I like to call this my angel dress, <laughs> because I feel like an angel when I wear it, and I look like one as well. It's got these um, kind of elasticated sleeves, but then they're also really big and floaty, which is why I feel like an angel when I wear it. And it kind of comes down to just above my knees and it has this kind of tie detail in the front which is really like on trend at the moment. Look at me saying on trend like I know but I don't really. I've just seen it on other people and it looks really nice. So I just like this style. I don't wear it by itself because obviously it's super see-through so I wear like a little white kind of like bodycon dress underneath it just to feel more comfy. This is H&M from maybe last year and then this is an H&M dress that I got recently and it is on trend and I'm I know that because I've literally seen everyone off the shoulder things. So that's my first off the shoulder purchase. So this is a dress from H&M. It's just this like red, kind of red, burnt orange red dress with these kind of bell sleeves, but they kind of go till just below my elbow. And I really like it. The one thing they don't tell you about off the shoulder dresses and tops is that it's hella irritating because they just like flip up like that all the time and I'm just like constantly pulling it down and it really frustrates me that I have to do that. I feel like someone should have let me know that they're a real pain but it looks beautiful so I can stomach it and it's just really nice for a more dressier occasion and then another dress is this little black one that I spoke about from factory this I think was on sale um, and it's just a really chilled kind of purchase it's got these like strappy um, straps strappy straps that doesn't make any sense but I'm doing it anyway so I like this kind of style because it's just really simple at the back um, and it just just flows and it looks really nice with a white t-shirt and heavy on or my espadrilles So it's a really nice kind of like casual day-to-day -day outfit. Um, on to shirts I have quite a lot of shirts. I went through a phase where I only ever wore shirts and like jeans. It's kind of very See-through light kind of material. It's perfect for summer You can wear it over other clothing and kind of tie it if you want to. I've never done that I mean, I've never been bold enough to try that But I've seen other people do it and they look nice in it So I kind of just like this with my H&M jeans or even my Zara jeans tucked in at the front and kind of loose at the back Another shirt is this blue one from H&M. Oh, this is a Woolies shirt. The white shirt was a Woolies one um, And then this is another H&M purchase. This is a kind of very boyfriend fit blue shirt I like this with jeans um, basically that's all I wear with jeans or the black the black jeggings from pick and pay and I like this it's got a good very like loose fit and I've always wanted a shirt like this but never knew how to style it recently it's been a really nice wear with this bomber jacket or with my black jeans if I wanted to look a little more fancy and then some heels or with my H&M um, jeans tucked in and then last but not least jackets um, this one I got from factory I really like the style I've been looking for a bomber jacket kind of style but I couldn't find anything that was lightweight so it didn't have that like puffy material because I just really don't like that that puffy material again it makes me look like a man from behind so I'm not really gonna go for that um, I'm very much into my layers you'll see so if you want to see a winter kind of like 
staple style video or like a lookbook something let me know another jacket that I wear all the time is my denim jacket and weirdly enough it's an oversized denim jacket which I never would have thought would work with my kind of body type because I'm really short and like stocky almost like it just doesn't seem like it's gonna work for me because it it feels like it's gonna be too big and make me look huge but it just doesn't do that I really really like this with like a statement tee like the one that says you never try you'll never know one or even the youth t-shirt that I wear with like jeans um, my black jeans or even that like green pair of pants the cotton on ones I just I really like this kind of 90s vibe and it is a vintage option I actually got this from a friend of mine she was just she just had them and they were like 150 rand so I bought one and it's probably my favorite purchase. I really like the, the vibe that it gives. I can wear it with scarves, with jerseys in winter. I can kind of like layer it up. And it actually is really, really warm. So that is it. I'm going to stop talking because I feel like this video is going to be way too long. I don't even know if you guys have gotten to the end of this. But if you have, well done. And if you want to see any other style videos or fashion videos, then definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want to see how to style certain items. I don't know if I could do it that well but I could show you how I would style it um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this if you have please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel then please do that there'll be a little picture of my face that will come up over here and you can subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye